and on the day that's in it, I stand good wishes and love to everybody in the Chamber. Uh, on this side of the House, we sent a Valentine's card to you, Tony, and to the Government. Unfortunately, we gave it to Minister Harris, so it might be a few months before you get it, um, but I'm sure you'll eventually get it uh, at some stage. But small businesses around the country, Tanish, that are not receiving any love for their insurance companies. And I just caught the end of Minister Donoghue's interaction with Deputy Burton. Uh, small companies, small businesses, farms, marts, festivals are being hammered by increasing insurance costs and increasing business insurance costs in particular. I don't know if you picked up, and I would encourage you over the weekend to listen back to the Sean O'Rourke show last Tuesday, where he focused in on play centres in particular and the hit that they are taking. One case in Navan, uh, a lady called Linda Murray, who runs a centre employing 12 people that hosted 20,000 children uh, last year. Her costs have gone from €2,000 in 2012 to €16,000 in 2018, without a claim. And in 2019, she's being advised that she cannot get a quote. The insurance companies in this sector are beginning to pull plant because Ireland is seen as such an outlier by the insurance industry. If she was operating in the UK, she'd get a quote and she would get a quote for much lower. So that's 12 jobs, a business of seven years, very hard work, very high reputation, 20,000 children in Navan, completely discommoded. Similarly, the Finance Committee and the Agriculture Committee have been told about marts having to close around the country. And community events such as street festivals, 75 alone in the last two years, 75 community festivals have shut down, not run again because of increased insurance costs. And meanwhile, nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. Yes, there has been reductions in motor insurance, because motor insurance is trackable, it's accessible. But when it comes to this kind of insurance, there's a mystery behind it. Business owners cannot see why their, claim, why their costs are increasing. Business owners cannot see what kind of claims are being settled. And meanwhile, the government once again has its head in the sand. Minister, Minister Darcy on the Sean O'Rourke programme the other day said and acknowledged that the level of claims in this country was the problem. But this has been known for 19, 20 months since it came forward in the report. Yet it is only yesterday, yesterday, that Minister Charlie Flanagan wrote to the Chief Justice to ask him to do something about it. And in the meantime, 75 festivals, marts, small businesses around the country are gone to the wall. What are you going to do about it as a government? Do you understand the seriousness of the situation facing small business? And for once and for all, Tanishta, can you stand up for small business against the might of the insurance industry? Thank you. Thanks, Deputy, and thank you for your good wishes on the day that's in it. We haven't exactly been feeling the love from you this week, but, um, <laughs> but perhaps, perhaps... The day is young. We uh, haven't got uh, any from you. <laughs> yeah. Hope springs eternal. <laughs> It's, er it's, early in the, uh, it's early in the day, yes, but I will, I will pass on your good, good, good wishes to Minister Harris there. That's appreciated. Yeah. Uh, um, on, the, um, on the serious issue of insurance, um, at the outset I want to emphasise that um, we are very aware in government uh, of the financial strain uh, which the cost of insurance is placing on uh, some consumers and many businesses. Indeed, the problem of rising premiums in respect of motor insurance in particular uh, was the main impetus for the establishment of the Cost of Insurance Working Group, uh, which, the, uh, which Minister Donoghue chairs. Uh, the Working Group is continuing to implement the 33 recommendations from the 2017 report on the cost of motor insurance and the 15 recommendations from the 2018 report, which you didn't refer to but certainly exists, uh, on the cost of employer and public liability insurance. Both of these uh, primary reports contain action plans which set out agreed timelines for implementation as well as a commitment that the working group will prepare regular updates on its progress. The seventh such update was published last November and shows that the total uh, number of 78 separate relevant deadlines within the action plans of the two reports uh, set up uh, to the end of Q3 2018, uh, 63 relate to actions uh, which have been completed already. So there is more work to do, 
But it is not true to say, Deputy, that nothing is happening in this area. It is envisaged that the next quarterly progress update will be completed by the end of this month and will concentrate in particular on outlining the definitive position in relation to all of the 33 recommendations from the Motor Report um, as the last of the deadlines within its action plan passed at the end of 2018. In respect to uh, employment and uh, public liability, um, the vast majority of the total of the 26 action points which were due for completion during 2018 overall have been accomplished and I remain confident that any outstanding action points will be completed in the coming months along with the three remaining action points with deadlines set for various quarters throughout 2019. Deputy, I am familiar with the pressure uh, that you've outlined in relation to many individual businesses, whether it's Marts uh, or other, other businesses. Uh, the, the government will continue to monitor how we, through change policy uh, and, uh, and change, uh, changes of approach, can continue to ensure that we have a competitive uh, insurance uh, offer in Ireland Thank for small businesses in particular. Uh, we have an action plan which is being implemented and we will continue to update that. Deputy Cleary. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. That's no comfort to businesses around the country that are facing either extraordinary rises, hundreds of percent in premiums, to nightclubs, restaurants, community events such as festivals, play centres. People will be made redundant because they can't pay the insurance or they can't get a quote. And all the time you're coming up with these action plans, insurance companies are refusing to give quotes. Minister Darcy on Sean O'Rourke today outlined that he had Plan A, he wasn't able to progress that, it's delayed. Plan B was delayed, and now he's on Plan C. And much of the delay was because legislation isn't being pursued. One concrete thing you can take and take quickly, if there is urgency, is publishing a new book of quantum. So when will the new book of quantum, that might bring some sort of discipline and order, to injury awards, which in this country are for personal injury, are four times higher than in the United Kingdom. Four times higher. So an award that might be 10,000 in the United Kingdom is 40,000 here. That's costing jobs. That's closing down businesses. When can we expect the Book of Quantum? Yeah, Deputy, I, mean, I think it is important to say that while I recognise that there are significant pressures in some of the areas that you've raised, it's also important uh, to recognise the progress that has been made in other areas. If we were here two years ago, we would have been talking about the cost of motor insurance, uh, or indeed last year. Um, we know that, uh, that we've seen over the last two and a, no, what we've seen over the last two and a half years, Deputy, is a 22% reduction in the cost of motor insurance. Right? So we, need, we, now, we, now need, we now need to deliver the kind of results that we have managed to deliver for motor insurance for small businesses too. Uh, and that is, that, is, that, is, that is what we intend on doing, Deputy. Uh, th that is why we have uh, an action plan. Uh, the, the, motor insurance, the motor insurance was phase one. Uh, we're now looking at public liability insurance and businesses. Uh, and, we are, and we are determined to deliver the kind of results... We're determined to deliver the kind of results that we've seen in the motor insurance sector uh, across the broader uh, commercial sector as well from an insurance uh, perspective. Deputy, I'll have to come back to you on that, I, 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 um, but I happily will. Um, Thank you, uh, uh, Let me speak to the Minister concerned, which is Minister Darcy, and I'll come back to you in relation to the Book of Quantum.